When you're fighting in marriage, there's nothing wrong with fighting in marriage. Okay, so you know, good couples fight. The, the difference between uh, a good marriage and a bad marriage is in a bad marriage, you can't resolve your fight. In other words, it's, it's chronic. Karen and I, when we got married, uh, my wife and I, we fought and we didn't resolve it because we just had sick kind of fights, you know, that were unresolved. And so it just kept accumulating. So when you're, when you're arguing uh, or you're fighting in marriage, the first most important thing is to give your spouse the right to complain without paying a price. See, in dysfunctional families, there's silence. You, you can't say how you feel. In fact, in counseling, I've, I've counseled now for you know, 35 years. In counseling, many times a person will come in and say, well, I've got this issue and this issue and this issue in my marriage. And I'll say, well, have you said this to your spouse? They say, they say oh, no, they'd go ballistic. Okay, well, what you need to say to your spouse, both of you need to say is, if there's something bothering you, I want you to tell me. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to be defensive and I'm not going to be threatened. By the way, defensiveness is one of the warning signs of divorce. And defensiveness just means don't tell me if something's wrong. I, it's not my fault. It's your fault. Okay, your, defensiveness means you're the problem. I'm not the problem. And I don't want you telling me what's wrong. But what we need to say is it's like a customer relations counter. In good stores, you know, you're able to complain. The best stores are imperfect. And so there's a customer relations counter, and I can go over and say, hey, I'm having this problem. And they don't shame me. They don't yell at me. They don't throw stuff at me. They say, oh, we're sorry. How can we resolve that? That's a good marriage. In a good marriage, you're saying, hey, I'm trying to be the best husband I can be. I'm trying to be the best wife I can be, but I'm not perfect. And so listen, if I'm not doing something right, would you tell me? Okay, that this, I, I say to my wife on some regular basis, are you okay? And she knows what that means. She knows if she's not okay, I'll change anything in my life to make her okay. See, how do you know that you're a good husband until your wife tells you? How do you know you're a good wife until your husband tells you? That, that's the point. We're, we want to please each other. And if I'm going to please you, it means you have to have the opportunity to complain without losing your dignity. Now, let me talk about complaining versus criticizing. Okay. So the first thing is we give each other the right to complain without going ballistic or being defensive. Number two is we complain and not criticize. Now, this is a huge thing. See, in, in marriage, the truth that I need to tell you is not always Bible truth. It's just my truth. And, and here's what I'm saying. If, if I come at you criticizing, criticizing is this, you, you are such an idiot, you're such a witch, you, you did that and you were paying me back. And in other words, I'm the judge and the jury and I'm coming at you finger pointing and calling you names. You're immediately defensive, you immediately close your heart and it's gonna be a fight, okay? That, you can't do that. Okay. You give each other the right to complain and here's what complaining means. You, you said this to me, and I don't know what you meant by it, but I want to tell you how I feel. Okay. I feel hurt. I feel like you're paying me back. I feel like this and this and this. So sure, I'm not finger pointing and I'm not calling you names. And I'm not telling you that what I'm saying is true. My feelings may be real. That doesn't mean they're right. We have many feelings in our lives that they're, they're, not, they're not necessarily right. But here's the point. So I come to Karen and I come at her, you know, finger pointing and I used to do that all the time. That doesn't work. I'm going to say it doesn't work. Um, but if I am angry at Karen, if, if, I'm, if I'm hurt and I'm frustrated, I'll, I'll say to her, and, and you have to begin kindly, okay? So when you're complaining, you can't say, well, let me just tell you something. I've got my lawyer's number on you know, speed dial on my phone right there. And if this conversation doesn't go well, I'm going to hit that button. I, you can't threaten divorce, you can't threaten an affair, you can't come angry. You start by saying, I love you and you're my friend and we're on the same team. Okay, I need to tell you something, okay? Tell me, we have the right to complain if we have a good marriage. And you say, I don't know if this is right, okay? It's, it, it's real to me, but that doesn't mean that's necessarily real. Um, I feel like what you said yesterday, I feel like you, what you did um, I feel like that you were trying to hurt me or you were doing whatever. And then you let them respond. And when they respond, and probably the way that they'll respond is, well, honey, that's not true. And when they respond, you don't say, well, you're a liar and you're an idiot and you're lying to me right now. You don't say that. You say, really? No, that's not true. Okay, well, 
I, I love you and thank you for letting me talk. And it's over. You resolve it. If you've done something wrong or if they've done something wrong, you need to say, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Will you forgive me? Now, this is one of the things that healed our marriage. I never said I was wrong, but I got real good at it. And I began to take responsibility. See, blame transfer was the original sin of marriage. When Adam and Eve fell, God walked up to Adam and said, what is this that you've done? He said, that woman that you gave me is the problem. Blame transfer. So what, what happens is I've got to take responsibility for my problems. Now listen, if I'm only 10% of the problem, I'm still part of the problem. And I can change my behavior. I can't change your behavior. I can change my behavior. And see, when I humble myself, the Bible says a harsh answer stirs up anger, but a soft answer is like healing. A soft answer calms everything down. And so we forgive each other. Will you forgive me? I forgive you. And then you kiss and make up and you go away. What I just said to you right there, that's how you resolve conflict in your marriage. You give each other the right to complain. You complain. You don't criticize. When you complain, you begin with loving words, not angry words. You take responsibility. Share your feelings. It may be real, but they're not necessarily right. Okay, don't try to interpret them. Listen, done something wrong, repent, forgive each other, and you have a good marriage. Doesn't mean you don't get mad. It means you know how to resolve your conflict.